If you've been in a long-term relationship with a woman and you don't see that woman that's been a part of your life for a long time as a queen, you're a fool. Thumbs up for a like, subscribe, and hit I the bell. I did mean what I said. You are a fool if that is your situation. And just let me explain. I'm not trying to beat up on you. If you're a man that puts yourself in that situation in which you're dealing with a woman for a very long period of time, you're in a long-term relationship with a woman and you don't see her as a queen. Let me put some context on this. As I've stated previously, I promote traditional manhood, traditional masculinity. So as a man, you are supposed to be in that leadership role. So for you, dealing with the woman that you view as a queen should be expected, especially if it's long-term. If you're dealing with a woman long-term, the king is with the queen. The king is not with women that he views as peasants to him. Um, let me cut the royal analogies and just say, a man that's, that views himself highly is not going to be dealing with a woman that he doesn't even see as a quality woman for a long period of time. A man that really sees himself as valuable, that actually values himself would never be stuck with a chick that he's just thinking, damn, she a loser. Why do I, why am I even, oh my God, why am I even with this woman? See, a man that really views himself the way he should view himself would never be stuck with a woman that he does not see as valuable. Not for the long term. I would even say for the short term, um, I would even say that because as a man, you don't want to be dealing with a bunch of chicks that you yourself deem as low tier. You can't, you can't be doing that to yourself. Um, so as a man, it's important that any women that you deal with for an extended period of time, um, as far as relationships goes, if you're a person that still does long-term relationships, you have to, you have to wait for the right one. You have to wait for the ones that actually fit your program, follow your leadership, and take their role as the queen of your life. And remember, as I said before, you the king of your life, and the queen don't never outrank the king. Remember that. So I promote traditional masculinity, traditional manhood, so you need to already understand that if you're going to be dealing with anyone long term in your life, they have to bring value to your life. They have to. You cannot be dealing with people. You can't be surrounded by a bunch of people that aren't adding value to your life. And you especially cannot be with a woman that is not valuable. You can't be doing that to yourself. You need to see yourself in the correct position first and foremost, as the king of your own life, the king of your own castle. And when you really see yourself as such, you won't find yourself in situations when you're dealing with women that you view as losers yourself. And um, of course, this is subjective. So we're talking about your own perception. So if you're with a woman that you perceive to be a queen, you perceive to have all type of great characteristics for you and for what you want and for your program, awesome. You're in the right position. If you're with women that that's how you perceive them, that's good for you. If you sincerely perceive them that way, that's good for you. You're in the right position. But if you're a man that is with, that is dealing with women for long periods of time and you know you barely even like the women you're dealing with, but you're just, you're dealing with them for whatever reason because, um, a lot of people these days are very unhappy with the relationships that they're having. Um, 
they're just they seem to be stuck is what they claim they claim to be stuck in situations when they're dealing with someone um that they're they're not interested in they're they're not, they're not attracted to them um they don't think they smell good they don't think they don't like their personality i'm trying to figure out how can you be with somebody for all this time and they seem like you hate them based on everything you're describing about them they seem to be pretty terrible for your life they seem to be pretty terrible for what you actually desire so why is it that you accepted that for such a long period of time so i'm trying to get you to understand the the foolishness of yourself because this is something again that you can only do to yourself you can only put yourself in these type of scenarios and um, of course other people will always try to influence you to make a bad decision for yourself this is why you got to prioritize yourself you have to understand that you are going to be the best person to look out for you so you can't be getting in situations where you think you're you're getting with this woman for reasons other than you find her valuable um, i've heard men say reasons like oh i'm only with her for the kids i'm only with her um because it's just been so long and i'm so accustomed to being with this woman and i don't want to get back out there um and all these other reasons for why they're with this woman other than she's valuable to him and see when you truly embrace your role when you deal with women, when you truly embrace the man role when you deal with women, you can only deal with women that are valuable to you. That's it. You can only deal with women that are valuable to your team, to your effort, to your program, to what you're trying to get accomplished. Um, and traditional men, they know, they've known um, from, from, from history that the team you have will determine how far you end up going. And that's not to say that having women is going to get you to a higher status in life and to where you want to go in life. That's not necessarily what I'm saying. What I'm saying is Women need to be an asset to you, if anything. If a woman is not some sort of asset to your life, that woman should never be a part of your life. And I don't care how long you've been dealing with that woman. I don't care what history you have. I don't care how much you used to love her. It don't matter. What matters is, is she an asset or not? Is she an asset to your team or not? That's all that matters. And when you really embrace that mindset, you will drop the dead weight. Any woman that is dead weight to you, any woman that is an anchor to you will affect your overall trajectory. It will affect whether or not you can accomplish what you really want to accomplish in this world. So the team you have does have a major impact on you. If you are surrounded by a bunch of anchors, you're not gonna go very far. You're not, you're not. I would rather have women in my life that help me that are in their proper roles as helpmates to help me do what I'm trying to accomplish. Be part of my team. That's how you need to deal with women. Really, that's how any man um, that has the understanding of the only way you're gonna be successful is if you really take that leadership role. You need to understand that you need to embrace your position and let the women of your life embrace their positions which is not your position so as a man you need to only have what what you would consider to be queens as part of your team and um what i'm saying applies to if you're a man that only wants one woman or if you're a man that's trying to have some five wives type of thing um they all need to be queens if they're gonna be on your team long term.